Today, we're going to continue with foundational concept number one, 1A, proteins and amino acids, structure and function. This section is worth 55% of the biology section. This video is going to continue amino acids description and talk about amino acids as dipolar ions. Amino acids are dipolar ions, which suggests that they can be found in cationic, which is positive, anionic, which is negative, or zwitterionic, neutral form. Um, in the body, they are often found in zwitterionic form because the human body is held at a neutral pH. When amino acids are in a low pH or acidic, then they are in cationic form. When an amino acid is in a high pH or basic, it is in an anionic form. When an amino acid is in a pH that is equal to the isoelectric point, it is witter ion. So amino acids as cationic. Amino acids become cationic with a positive charge in a low pH or acidic environment. This happens because there are hydrogen ions in the solution. So as you can see on the right, there is just a general amino acid structure and lots of hydrogen ions floating around in the solution. The amino, so NH2 and carboxylic acid, COOH groups, are in their protonated forms, giving a positive charge to the amino acid backbone. So the amino acid backbone includes everything except for the R group of the amino acid. Amino acids as anionic. Amino acids become anionic or gain a negative charge in a high pH or basic environment because there are hydroxide ions, those OH with negative charge, in the solution. These grab onto the hydrogens in the amino acid to create water in the solution. So as you can see on the right hand side, there's a picture again of a general amino acid structure with OH in the solution. In the ana anionic form, the amino acids are in their deprotonated forms, giving a negative charge to the amino acid backbone. So again, everything except for the R group. The amino group is in its neutral form, so it does not have an additional hydrogen added to it. And the carboxylic acid is in a negative form because it has lost its hydrogen. In the human body at the pH of 7.4, amino acids are zwitter ions, or neutral, because the amino group and carboxylic acid groups are ionized to become NH3 plus and COO minus. These two charges of NH3 plus and COO minus neutralize, and the R group alone determines the amino acid's charge. There are some easy ways to identify solutions. So in general, an acid has its full amount of hydrogen attached with a positive or neutral charge. If you're given a reaction, the acidic group will lose a hydrogen, and it will be an acid to base reaction. So below you can see that there is hydrochloric acid, which is stomach acid, given with HCl, and it turns into its conjugate base on the right hand side, which is sodium chloride or table salt. Um, and this is clearly an acid base to a conjugate base reaction because the acid loses a hydrogen. Um, for example, with amino acids, the carboxylic acid is an acid as it cannot hold more hydrogen according to its molecular structure. You can identify a base because it can take on another hydrogen and may have a negative or neutral charge. So when looking at a reaction, if the group gains a hydrogen, then it is a base to acid reaction. So below you can see NaOH is the base and H2O is a conjugate acid. Um, this is easily identified because the spectator ion, the spectator atoms, Na, leaves, and hydrogen replaces it. Bases can often be identified by the presence of nitrogen. So again, in the, the amino acid, the NH2 is a base as it can grab onto another hydrogen according to its structure. So as you can see, there is still one 
electron waiting um, to be attached to. Summary. In an acid, the base group, NH2, becomes more acidic, turning to NH3 with a positive sign. In a base, the acid group, COOH, becomes more basic, becoming COO-. In a neutral solution, around pH of 7, both of the above are true. The way to remember this is thinking of these groups as a person, trying to fit in with social norms. So the person would be the group, and social norms would be the overall solution pH. So the group that is not like the solution tries to adapt to the environment. 